Ty here and we are down at one of my favorite local restaurants, Guam Brewery Tap House. If you love Chamorro cuisine such as Golai Hagan Sunni or Tanak Tak, well, they managed to kick it up a notch. Golai Hagan Sunni pizza, Tanak Tak dumplings, and so much more. I don't know what these guys have further off the menu items, but we're about to go find out. It's the underground entree. So these guys have such an awesome location. They are in the heart of Tumon, and if you want to be around the party scene, but at the same time be able to get yourself some really good local grub, this is where it's at. I think one of the first things I ever tried here that really just hooked me was the Golai Hagan Sunni pizza. Now this thing is the bomb. You know the Golai Hagan Sunni dip? Imagine that, but on a perfect warm pizza so good they also have things like their drunken quesadillas that are really bomb and also lechon kawali so i'm excited So they brought out one of my favorites. It's the Tanak Tak dumplings. Now they usually have their coconut dinancy as the dipping sauce, but they also decided to do a little spin on it. We have their sesame Asian vinaigrette right here. And I don't really know how that's going to go with it, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be delicious. We're gonna find out right now. I love Tanak Tak. It's one of my favorite Chamorro dishes. Coconut milk, some green beans, ground beef, Mmm, that's a recipe for a nap. All right, let's dunk it right in here. I'm gonna go with the traditional one, the coconut dinancy first. I love that they made them into dumplings. It's so innovative. Okay, I wanna try it with the sesame vinaigrette now. Yes, I'm double dipping, but at the same time, it's okay. Mmm. Mmm. Five-second roll. It reminds me of a salad, so it's healthy. We got the salad dressing. <laughs> That's what I love about Tap House. They take some of the most classic dishes and they give their little twist on it. I mean, Tanak Tak, we know it's usually served over a nice warm bed of rice, and it's pretty much the recipe for a knockout. But these guys took it, made it a bite-sized version. I love it, it's nice, and it's not as messy as you would typically, you know, with regular snack tack. And it's so cute, look how tiny these are. Like I said, I need my palate cleanser right over here, some pumpkin spice blue moon. They got a little fancy with it too. They put the crystal, the sugar crystals on the top to make it like a pumpkin pie. Good. We have one of their new items here. It's the Ahi Pokey Taco. Now they have this in a fried wonton, so it gives it that nice crisp, a little different from a regular taco. So I'm really excited to try this. They said that they actually showcased this a while back, and it was one of their first courses, and everyone loved it, so I'm excited to try it. I'm gonna add some of my lemon on here. Got the sour cream, cilantro, and tomatoes. Okay, let's dive right into this. That's really, really good. Wow. I really like this. And you know, you would think that the bottom would get a little bit soggy just because of the, the fish and everything with it. But I don't know, they fried it to a perfect texture where it's not soggy at all. You would hear the crisp right when I bit into it. This is really good. Let me see if I can, uh, if I can get a little ASMR going up over here. That's gonna be so funny if I did that and it didn't actually pick up. <laughs> I like this. I think I'm gonna get this from now on. Mm. What I love about this too is that it's the perfect size. I feel like I wouldn't get too full. You know, usually if I'm sitting back with friends and we're just like lounging and drinking some beers, you don't want to overload so much on the food just because, you know, the beer is usually going to fill you up. So I think this is the perfect balance. The flavors are so good. It's nice and fresh. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be getting this from now on. Mm. Yeah, right now, I got to let my boy Marcus try it. This is a wonton, right? 
Let's see. I gotta Google just real quick. Wonton dumpling. Yes, these are wontons. This is probably the most quiet I've ever been at an underground entree, which is how you know that this was really good. So all I can really say is you have to come down here and try it yourself. Again, it's the Guam Brewery Tap House. They have so much to choose from, a lot of local favorites. And try their newest one. It's the Aki Pokey Taco. You guys are gonna love it. But you know, like us tomorrow's, I'm gonna say the last snack tag dumpling for you. Till next time, it's the underground entree.